Emperor Manuel. Look at him. Age 46. Absolutely very good commandability. Authority is second to none. Not quite religious, but uh, who needs religion, eh? <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Uh, yes. Now, uh, <clears throat> I am aware of certain events that may be happening in a few turns' time, like Venice coming down here with stacks of armies and con besieging Constantinople. Uh, so, yes. Did a little bit of research into the campaign, mainly because it's totally new, and um, I've heard it's quite tricky, quite tough, can be, you know. So I thought I'd get a little bit of a, of a, of a head start, a little bit of research. So, uh, one plan, which seems to be suggested on a, on a, on a few by a few people in, in how to counteract the Venetian threat is by building three forts to block their advancing uh, armies, slow them down a little, provide a bit of a buffer to Constantinople, which is their ultimate goal. So I will be doing that in due course, if money permitting, uh, taking down, th uh, building three forts here, forming a line of defence and leading it with uh, half-stack armies ready for the uh, onslaught and hopefully that should provide us with a decent buffer to maintain a grip of Constantinople which is, if we quickly look at it, absolutely it's a powerhouse city probably the most advanced city in the area in the entire here maybe giving, uh, maybe excluding Jerusalem but it is an absolute powerhouse and all of our military strength and uh, financial strength comes here, so it is absolutely paramount that we do not lose Constantinople at all. That being said, we're going to now go through our cities <coughs> and look at this. Tax rate normal, public order, 150... F come on, this is a time of need, a time of total war as it's been put. We need to crank up the tax rates. We can't have, we can't have ourselves going bankrupt so uh, we'll go through all of our cities and uh, anywhere where we can crank up the tax I'm afraid it's uh, we're gonna have to crank it up be that as it may we need to ensure that we have a sound financial st stability so we're just cranking it up where necessary that's a castle uh, crank it up baby Okay, it's a castle, and uh, yep, crank it up, that's it, roads, oh marvellous, beautiful roads, and we're back at here again, gives us a little bit more flowings to play with, that's good, so then we look to our positioning of our, of our cities, <coughs> now I have done a little bit of, uh, yes my lord, study of the cities and their locations and I'm not totally happy with the, the layout the fact that Rhodes is a castle on an island it would better be served as a, as a town uh, my castle here is a little bit further back from the front lines than I'd like this city would probably be better placed as a castle uh, swapping that here with a town but it's uh, that would be the ideal situation but time is of the essence and we can't go wasting Florence in converting towns and, and cities into, the, into their counterparts just for you know the sake of ease so I'm going to make I'm going to live with what I've got here and if so be it if my castle here is far back it's going to have to it's going to have to do uh, it'll probably cost me more money and take more turns to convert that into a castle and then build all the necessary buildings and then start churning out troops it makes no sense so although it's not ideal we are going to stick with the uh, with the settlements that we've been given that being said <clears throat> these two settlements here that are sort of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> cut off from the main front which I'm sort of drawing a line down here being the main front at the moment this is just about in touch but these two are far and above way out of line and way out of the uh, of the way so what I'm going to actually do with these settlements is this castle can stay as it is untouched these troops are too far away to start hiking them all the way back there so we're going to leave this general uh, Evangelos. He's going to stay there with this army and just sit pretty for now. If somebody sieges it, so be it. But if not, he can, he can stay there and live out the rest of his days in relative boredom. He's 24. He's got a long life left ahead of him. But uh, here as well, I'm going to take out Lord. 
Orders. My army. Red face, okay. Oops. Normal tax rate. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's uh, maybe Orders. a couple of archers, maybe. Your Majesty. Command me. Onward. There we go. The rest of these troops. Your will. I'm going to pull back to the front lines. March. Very good. Preparing an ambush. It is slightly under undermanned, uh, but as I say, it's behind the lines, and if, it, if the enemies do take it, it's not a massive great loss to me. So rather than pumping funds into trying to defend it and pumping funds into building it up and stuff, I'm just going to leave it and only build the any buildings in there if we have any spare cash floating about. So I'm going to sort of uh, leave these two almost stricken and cut off for now. So he's going across there. Similarly, when we get to here, the troops will probably come out and, and head down to the battle lines. 8,000 to spend. Right, let's get to spending this cash then. Let's have a look at our cities and see what building we need to uh, we need to build. I'm going to focus initially on building up the infrastructure, giving ourselves a sound platform to build on for the future. So, um, ports, anything to do with roads, farming, mines, everything that's going to help help us to boost our boost our coffers. We're going to be building those. So as you can see here, we've got a mines in Constantinople. So we're going to build that. Coaching House gives us public order uh, bonus, but we're already happy enough, so we don't need to mess about with that just yet. Public Health bonus and amplifies the conversion of the church by 50%. That's actually quite a healthy uh, uh, boon to us, so we'll be building that in due course. But for now, the mines will do. It gives us 6,000 more to spend. Moving on. Where's this? Laodicea? Some of these names are hard to pronounce. <laughs> He's coming back. Yes. Very high tax rates, and um, everybody seems to be relatively happy. Farming is a brothel. A bit of extra bonus to our happiness. Recruits a spy. Well, not, not, not necessity. None of these are absolutely necessary right now. So uh, we'll leave that for the time being. Here we go. Again, happy, good good growth rate, so brothel's not necessity. Although it would be nice to be able to produce some spice somewhere, and this why not do it here? Better than any uh, better than anywhere else, I suppose. Uh, Heraclea seems to be doing just fine, but they doesn't even have land clearance, so we'll build the land clearance there. Sinope is cut off from the rest of the world, and as I say, only if we get some spare cash to spend on it shall we focus our efforts there. Trebizond, that's miles away. Right, here we go, we have uh, Iracleon. Iracleon, middle of nowhere, an island. Everything seems to be relatively decent, we're not bothered about a brothel, we don't see ourselves recruiting spies from here in a hurry. Uh, communal farming, dirt roads maybe, although there's nothing to connect it, but... I suppose it's better than nothing. Abydos, our western flanks. Again, church and land clearance, probably the two priorities there. Uh, Smyrna is a. is our castle, so we're going to have to focus on getting public growth as high as possible so the castle can expand at a nice quick rate allowing us to create better troops so anything that promotes that like land clearance maybe a port in due course definitely uh, is favorable Palais Castron seems fine grain exchange no trade here let's sort that out Moving across to roads, our castle, garrison quarters, practice range are our primary buildings. It is a castle, so we'll build the military buildings first. Leaves us with 970 to spend as we move on to Constantinople. So we do have a little bit of spare cash, which we're probably going to pump into, into unit producing. So Sinope's going to have to make do with uh, <laughs> next to no upgrades. 
as is Trebizond. Right. So that is the work undertaken in all of our settlements. Moving now to our units. The final piece of the puzzle. Our military. So, uh, I think the goal, <coughs> as well as sending some reinforcing armies to here, is building up a force on our borders somewhere around about here to start slicing our way through Turkish lands in Asia Minor. So if we uh, rally the troops together uh, somewhere, anywhere here really, that would be beneficial. And also we need to reinforce Constantinople to its utmost capacity to help us with uh, with any sieges that may come our way. Hmm. I have put the tax rate up in these lands, but uh, if I can just maybe spare a couple of troops here and there to assist in the war effort. That would be uh, beneficial. So I think we'll leave two units in there and take Orders. these guys across. We'll all, I think we'll all sort of rally round somewhere here and sort of carve our way through. So we'll all march up there. Move out. We continue tomorrow, my lord. We'll wait, we'll keep these troops in there, wait for oh. our good, uh, I think it's our son, Prince Stephanos. He's coming down from Sinope, so he shall come down to there. Once he gets there, they can then come and join the war effort. In fact, the prince might be the lead general in taking down the Turks initially. So they're going there. Here we go, another land with some uh, yes. spare troops in it. Let's see if we can uh, pilfer me. a couple March. without affecting the public order too much. Yes. Okay. Onward. So the armies are amassing at Nikair. Here we have our we have our uh, mainland castle. So uh, maybe we should start focusing on build uh, on recruiting some decent troops from here. Now uh, these Vardariote, is it these guys? These are our elite horse archers. These are probably our best horse archers. Uh, so yes, definitely going to recruit one unit of those. Trebizond archers are uh, probably our best archers, to be honest with you. So we're going to recruit some of them. And that leaves us with some light lancers. So we'll go for those. Uh, meanwhile, we'll take out... some more troops. I'm just sort of... we have a pretty horse-heavy. I think we need some more infantry units. I'll take out... Uh, yes! Take out the infantry. Head them up My lord. as well. Okay, so the horses will be coming later. And here, this has got a few troops in it. Very useful. Obviously, it's on the borderline with here, so we don't want to. Prob we probably don't want to take these troops out in a hurry, because uh, we don't want the Turks coming behind our lines, if possible. So we're going to leave those guys to garrison down here for the time yes. being, whilst we prepare our armies. 